We will now calculate the values of sine of alpha plus beta using the given formula as well as the given values uh, for sine alpha and cos beta as well as the question in part 2. And uh, both angles are in quadrant 1. So let's construct uh, right triangles using the given information sine alpha equal to 4 by 5. So I construct the right triangle in quadrant 1. This is quadrant 1. This angle is alpha. We know that uh, sine alpha equal to 4 by 5. So which means the opposite by hypotenuse is sine alpha. So now let's calculate this missing side or the unknown side. So to use this or to find this, we have to uh, apply the Pythagoras theorem which says that uh, hypotenuse sum of the square of the two sides is equal to the hypotenuse square. So therefore, using the Pythagoras theorem, we can calculate the missing side. And this is equal to 5 squared minus 4 squared. And this will result in 25 minus 16 square root. This is equal to square root of 9. And this gives 3. So we can mark 3 over here, which means we can find the cos of alpha. So cos alpha equals adjacent side by hypotenuse, that is 3 by 5. Okay, so wherever we have cos alpha, we can plug in 3 by 5 over here. And uh, let me also plug in 4 by 5 for sine alpha. We know cos beta is 8 by 17. So we have to calculate sine beta. In the same way, we will construct a right triangle to calculate uh, sine of beta. So let me clear this. And I make this as a beta using the information cos beta equals 8 by 17. So cos of an angle is uh, adjacent side by hypotenuse. So we have to mark 8 over here and 17 here and we can find the missing side using the Pythagoras theorem which says uh, 17 squared minus 18 squared. So when you take the square root you will get uh, 289 minus of 64 and this is uh, 225 square root which is equal to 15. So we can mark 15 over here which means we can now find sine beta sine beta is opposite by hypotenuse which is 15 by 17. So let me put uh, 15 by 17 over here. So we can just uh, simplify this. So this will be equivalent to, we have some space. This is uh, 32, 4 times 8 is 32 over 17 times 5 is equal to 85 plus this is 15 times 3 is 45 divided by 85 so this is equal to 32 plus 45 over 85 since we have a common denominator and 32 plus 45 is 77 over 85 so we have given the answer in fraction format. Or we could give it in decimal format also. So let's say that this is the answer to this question is 77 by 85. Or when converted to decimal, it's approximately 0.91. 0.91 okay so now let's do the part uh, second part let's do this one so this is equivalent to sine of uh, let's calculate the inside uh, terms we have to find a sine inverse of 4 by 5 uh, we are all uh, we are already given that sine alpha equal to 4 by 5 so therefore this implies we can uh, we can take sine inverse. Let me do it over here. So we have sine alpha equal to 4 by 5. 
which means I can take uh, sin inverse on both sides. So I take uh, sin inverse of sin alpha. This is equal to sin inverse of 4 by 5. Remember that when you take uh, sin inverse of a sine function, you just get only that angle or the theta. So here it is alpha. This is equal to sin inverse of 4 by 5. So therefore we can say that sine inverse of 4 by 5 is equal to alpha and in the same way when we do it for a cos beta we take cos inverse on both sides so you know that cos beta equal to 8 by 17 taking cos inverse on both sides we get cos inverse of cos beta equals cos inverse of 8 by 17 so this implies we will get a beta on this side because cos inverse of a cos function is we will get only the argument. So this side we get cos inverse of 8 by 17. So therefore in, uh, in place of cos inverse of 8 by 17 we can replace it by beta. And now we know that the answer to this question is already available in part A or the first part which is 77 by 85. So we can say that this is also 77 by 85 or approximately 0 0.91. So this is how we calculate the given values.